Hey guys, Scott here from G System Videos. This week I'm going to concentrate on more guitar tone recreations. I've gotten more emails about uh, how do I, you know, recreate this tone or that tone than any other emails. So I'm going to go through the entire list of requests this week and uh, try and knock them all out. So come on, let's do it. We're going to get started with Van Halen, Ain't Talking About Love, and uh, it's one of the great iconic uh, guitar tones from my youth. And uh, let's start with uh, playing my sound here without any effects on it. Show you what I've got. It's really basic. It's just two clean amps running stereo. And if we go into the patch, hit edit. Let's start with the mod because the two effects on this tone that are the most important are the phaser and the delay. I'm using the smooth phaser. I think it works better for this tone. I tried the other one and I could not get it to to reproduce the same kind of uh, characteristics that I wanted. Speed set at 500 megahertz, depth at 45 percent, feedback zero, range high, mix 15 percent, output level zero, and uh, the delay, I'm using a single delay. I tried the tape, it didn't have quite the same snap uh, that you that uh, this song kind of requires for me. The delay is set to a really quick slapback, 125 milliseconds. The tempo you can ignore. Uh, feedback is set r relatively high for me <clears throat> at uh, 25%, but I've actually used the uh, the feedback low and high cut pretty uh, radically on this tune because I want the the uh, the repeats to to have a certain snap to them so they're going to be confined to uh, between over 500 and less than uh, 2.5 kilohertz and I found that that made a big difference in the sound mix 30 percent output level zero now the reverb on this one is a uh, room reverb 1.2 seconds, 20 uh, second, uh, 20 millisecond pre-delay. Shape round, size large. Um, I've set the uh, the high color to real level eight, low color round level six. And now, what I've done is I'm changing my early reflections to negative uh, 15 dB and the reverb level negative four. And the reasons for this are I, I like the reverb, but I don't want too much of it. This way it, it sort of corrals the reverb down and gives you more of your guitar and then just a little bit of a reverb presence that you wouldn't really get if you just turned the mix level down. And uh, so it's a great way for shaping uh, the tone is using the, uh, the early and then the reverb level. Diffusion is uh, 5 and the mix is 12%. Now the, uh, let's see here, the EQ I've actually used on this one. I'm boosting some low end. 3 dB at 180 Hertz with a Q of 1.5 and I'm pulling down some uh, 1K uh, 2 dB and that's pretty much all I'm doing for that the gate I have on to a hard gate because this one's using a whole lot of gain and uh, for me I you know I just like it to be quiet in between the parts when I'm not playing and thresholds 20, negative 24 dB dampening of 24 dB at 24 dB per second. 24 is the magic number for the gate for me. And uh, now if we go to uh, hit edit again, scroll over, we can see the Nova Drive settings. I'm using my preset 7 which has the overdrive and the distortion both on. And But this time it's running the distortion into the overdrive. And uh, overdrive gains 45, level 32, Tone 66, overdrive mix 100. Uh, distortion gain is really high on this one's 80, with a level of 65, and then 50 and 60 for the uh, for the EQ settings on the uh, distortion. Now, let's hear what we get. <laughs>
cool. It works for me, especially coming from uh, two totally clean amps. I think that this really proves something about the Nova Drive as well as the G system. I can pretty much get any kind of tone that I want, and that's the reason why I use these things. All right, fellas, rock on.